to the hills for which comes my help. My help comes from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keep thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keep Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not spite thee by night nor, by, nor the moon by day. By night. I'm sorry. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. I have read Psalm 121, 1 through 7. Amen. 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 Live our prayer this morning. Dear Father God, again, we come, Father God, to the Lord, the honor we know how. Right. Oh, Father God, we come to thank you for this new day, a brand new day that we had never seen yes. before. Yes. And not because we had did so well and did so good, Father God, because you loved us just that much. Yes. Well, and we come this morning, Father God, we thank you for our last night's bed. Even though we've been talking terrible, but you touched it this morning with a pain of love and we yes. were able to rise on our own. Yes. So we just pray and give you the glory. Yes. Now, Father God, we think for allowing us to come down in the house of the Lord one more time. Well, yes. We don't take it for granted, Father God, but we come this morning to uplift your holy name. Yes. 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 And to praise your holy word. So, Father God, we pray right now, Lord, bless everyone that understands our voice. Yes. Bless those that are on their way here this morning. Yes. Let the spirit in this place this morning come, Father God. We believe we're already here. Yes. But let it have a way. Yes. Let it have a free course. Bless the man that can bring the word God. Bless yes. from the front to the back, from the yes. back to the front. Yes. And Father God, we just pray and give you the glory. Yes. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 At this time, I touch one to serve you. Open, open you may have a song of joy. You may have uh, uh, prayer, whatever the Spirit lay on your heart. And while I'm speaking, I, and you know, I don't have a problem saying, Lord, I thank you. And every time I look back to see where God has brought me from, it just a praise come from my mouth. Lord, I think because He had been good to me, and, and, and just to see this thing, it just a blessing. Just to have help and strength it may not be like I want to be, but I thank God that I am who I am. I thank God He kept me up to now. I just give Him the praise and give Him the glory. I thank you for. Uh, my children, my grandchildren, all what they've done, and all what he did. I didn't thank God for you. And I believe it or not, I thank God for my enemies. But they give me a reason to stay on my knees, pray. I may not come, I may not come bow down, but I can tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you. Because even through all what I go through, the Lord still keep me on. Nobody you, but I just give him praise. I don't have a problem saying, Lord, I thank you. Y'all know they're already by me. 
<laughs> so I just praise God, I give him praise. And, and sometimes I get to talk, I forget. Uh, first thing, I give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for just being here. Yeah. I didn't come out on my own this morning. I didn't wake up on my own this morning. It was Him. Yeah. It, was this morning. it was Him that gave me my thought this morning. Mm -hmm. I give Him the thing. I give Him the prayer. I give Him all the glory. Amen. 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 Any word else like this? Sister? Truly, I give on to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you for everything he's done for me and everything he shall do for me. And, and, and where it say, if he never do another thing for me, he had done enough. Amen. I thank you that when I woke up this morning, my family certainly would not throw me. Thank you for, hey, for me to be in a portion of my right mind and, and portion of good health. Amen. Just thank you for everything that he's done and shall do for me. And for those of you who know the word of prayer, pray much for me and all of so for you. Amen. 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 My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but holy thing. On Jesus' name, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand, when darkness fails his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, I anchor hope within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, oh, Yeah. 
Uh, you want to God, uh, good morning. I'm sorry. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, want to God, my being here. Uh, thank for life, help, and strength. Mm-hmm. Realize that very easily could have been the other way. Yeah. Uh, it could be some of y'all funerals that I'm headed to in my uh, I will be heading my but anyway. <laughs> God be good. <laughs> God be good. And, uh, I would ask all y'all to know the words of worship prayer. Pray for me, and I would do the same for you. Amen. Amen. Real true, trustee. It could, could be the other way around. Right. Amen. I want to tell you the praise that you got for God back home. Amen. There. Amen. And you'd be surprised what your testimony might do for someone else. Amen. Morning. I just thank God for being here this morning. Just thank the Lord for what he is in my life. Just thank you for every breath I breathe, Lord. Right. He's been good to me. Amen. Amen. As the deacon was saying, he's been better to us than we've been to. How I won't say it again. Just think about the way he brought us from. Now he brought me from a mighty, mighty long way. Yeah. And I thank you each and every day. Amen. Y'all know the word of prayer, just pray. And I'm going to turn around and keep on. Amen. 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 Give us our Lord and say, Jesus Christ, that we have such a time. You know, it's good to be back in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. 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 Sit on him this morning. We need to stand up and give praises to him this morning. Amen. 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 I love to pray. 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 I love to p
Chapel Mission Baptist Church support to T and all or as many church functions as possible. We are all one body in Christ and we need all members of the body working together to keep the body strong and productive. The church, okay, the church uses the online cash app Giveify. You may go to the Giveify site and select Anthony Chapel to give tithes, offerings, and or donations. Uh, uh, now that's not up here is our upcoming uh uh, revival, revival, which starts at 27, the three nights at 27, 28, and 29, starting at 7 o'clock, inviting all of you to come out and be our personal uh, uh, visitors, our personal uh, guests. Uh, minister for that night will be uh, Reverend Steve Spate, who is sitting back there, uh, Reverend uh, Robert Larry Wooten uh, from Lucama, and also Reverend uh, Alton Atkins. Uh, from where well, he's from, Princeville. Uh, so please pray for the city to shut in all over the land. Uh, and the script, I guess, is that the prayer faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise them up. And, he, and if he said, have committed sin, they shall be forgiven him, which is James 5 and 15. And I also like to say happy birthday to all the August babies and happy anniversary to all August couples. Uh, thank you, one and all. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, back in hand of Papu. <laughs> thank you, Trustee Pender. Truly, we thank God for you, and we pray to have it heard, say, and ask us. Everybody will take you notes and respond in a positive manner. Amen. We do look forward to seeing as many as you possible out to our revival. Uh, 
coming up at the end of the month. Amen. Amen. If you can knock those to set the door, you may let me in. Amen. Amen. A joy and a privilege to be in the house of the Lord Amen. one more time. Amen. Another day. Another day. Lord has shut us. Amen. Amen. We are delighted today uh, again to have with us our say guest today. The program is outlined, and I believe all of our uh, program participants are uh, just here. And in a few minutes, I'm going to give way to uh, Reverend Rice, who will lead us through the service today. And but I just want to say um, just something about the speaker of the hour. The speaker of the hour, I have known him for uh, a few years. In many ways, he is actually responsible for me being here. Right. And the reality of it is, I was thinking about it. I was saying the other day that I'm just a few days away from retirement. I've been working here in Rocket Mount uh, for uh, going on 23 years. And before I came to Rocket Mount, uh, this gentleman was one of the first people I spoke to. Right. This gentleman provided lodging for me to stay. So I know uh, this gentleman, and we have seen him, and that, and you have seen him and heard of him a lot. You know, we don't mean that you agree with everything, but we know. And even in the disagreements, it helps one another to grow. Because if you never hear any of the information in what you know, you really don't know what you know. Right. Amen. So we thank God for for him. And that's all I would say in reference to him because I'm sure he will be introduced later. But we thank God for each of you. We thank God for this choir, uh, Brother Winstead and the brothers. And again, see, I turn around and... It, <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I say it to give you a, to give you a laugh, but I people ask me all the time, say how uh, when it comes to women in the, in the pulpit and women preaching and women in leadership, I say where well, men. Men got to step up. Amen. Got to step up. Because God's word will not return to him void. Right. I know he was speaking to the children. He, about the children, he's saying, if these hold their peace, the rocks are cry out. But he was talking about humanity a lot. If we hold our peace, I didn't come to. Let me move on. We're just so delighted. We're going to give way to I think uh, Deacon Ricks is on for the welcome. I'm following uh, the welcome. Uh, we're going to turn it over to uh, Robert uh, Rice, and he will come and give the uh, call to worship. I am going to decrease. I'm going to sit right there in that seat right there. I want Elijah and Nicholas to come sit right beside me. It's, you know, as grandfather, I want them beside me. This is men's day. We want to let them know that granddaddy is right there with them. Good morning. Good morning. How is everyone doing this morning? Good. I do thank my Lord Jesus Christ for this me to here once again and the stuff. So we like to say to each and every one that is here, we welcome you today. To be here with us at the Anthony Chapel Men's Day program. And uh, we want to welcome you because we have all that are here today. We know you have been here before, but we still welcome you day by day to hear the answer. Whenever the doors, our doors are open, 
you know you are welcome here with us. So we have restrooms in the front and the foyer, men's on the left as you come in, and the ladies on the right. We have bathrooms in the back, uh, men's on the left over here, and ladies on the right on this side. But we still welcome you. We also like to say anything that you need from anyone that here, be free to ask but we can give you our help for any, any procedure that you need to have down here. So we welcome you once, twice, two times, three times, you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, come on, the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for his grace, for his mercy, for the many, many blessings. He woke you up this morning and started you on your way. The old folks say it could have been the other way. It could have been a different way. But God has seen fit to spare us to allow us to be here on this day. I'm glad to be here. I hope you're glad to be here. And if you're not glad to be here, oh, when the service goes on, you'll be glad to be here. Amen. 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 Let us rise up this morning. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I look upon on the name of Jesus. I look upon on the name of Jesus. I look to call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. I love, I love all the name of Jesus. I love, I love all the name of Jesus. I love, I love all the name of Jesus. There is love in the name of Jesus. Jesus. So what's love in the name of Jesus? Jesus. There is love in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I love, I love all the name of Jesus. I love, I love all the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, turn God our Father. We say thank you, Lord, for this day, God. And we thank you, Lord, for this place, God. And we thank you, Lord, for your presence and your peace and your love, God. Thank you, Lord, for the many, many blessings, great and small, God. We thank you now, God, for who you are and for sparing us for one more day, God. We ask you now to come to this place. This is your house, God. Your house. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Come on in now, God. And go from the front door to the back door, on the side windows, heart to heart, and rest to rest, God. Show up and show up in this house. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. No one's house. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I love, I love all the name of Jesus. I love, I love all the name of Amen. Somebody said it loud. Oh, oh, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Maybe you see that, amen, amen. You know, we think about calling on the name of the Lord. Yes. And I believe there's somebody in there that knows a little something about calling on the name of the Lord. Amen. Calling on the name of the Lord when it's high time, when you're on the mountaintop. Calling on the name of the Lord when you're in the valley. And calling on the name of the Lord when everything is just free and okay. We can call on the name of the Lord anytime we want. Yeah. You won't get a busy signal. If it's his cell phone, won't have a problem texting. He don't need you. You can just call on him where you are. And he will hear you. It's good to be here on this men's day. And we know that it's man and woman together. And, and there are folk who may have different opinions about that today. But God made the man. And what did he do? 
He breathed into him the breath of life. Man was not a living soul till he was breathing. Adam may have even had a heartbeat, but he was not alive until God breathed in him. The breath of life. Amen. 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 So you're nothing without the breath of God. But if you are, you are a living soul. Amen. So, Brother Robert Williams said, invite the brothers. I want to hear this. Amen. 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 Anybody free this thing? 
I said, is anybody free today? Amen. You sound like you bound up in the spirit this morning. Amen. Amen. But tell you, there's a neighbor. Whatever's holding you down. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Now come on and shake it off. Amen, somebody. Come on and shake it off. Amen. We ought to be glad this morning. Amen. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Amen. Amen. Today we give honor to all honor to do. Amen. To the shepherd, under shepherd of this house. Amen. Our scripture reading is coming from Genesis 1. Amen. (laughs) All that we will stand. Yes. This is something that the, the Spirit of God has been dealing with me with. Yeah. Amen. If it be God's will, amen, we will be dealing with this on second Sunday at Chris Chapel. Amen. And we do bring you greetings from Chris Chapel, Freeway Baptist Church. Genesis 1, the 26th verse. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish, over the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his, somebody say, own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. Go back to the old school. No, don't say that. Don't say this right here. <laughs> say this right here. Mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror. On the wall. On the wall. Do I still look like? Do I still look like my creator at all? My Father God, as we come this morning, we come this morning to say thank you for another day. Mm-hmm. Father, we thank you for last night rest. Yeah. And we lay there and slumber all night long. Right. And Father, as we rolled this morning, we looked around and saw the same demo we laid down with well, yeah. Father, we woke up this morning, we had eyes to see, yes. we were able to move our hands and legs this morning. Yes. Yes. Father, we know it won't nobody be you this morning. Yes. Father, we thank you for the day that we have never seen before. Yes. Oh, Father, as we walk out into today, we can feel the cool breeze come across our body. Yes. Father, we know that the love and the touch of you this morning that touched these old bodies this morning. Yes. And Father, as we were on our way here this morning, we can say thank you, Lord, thank for the safe Lord. trip here this morning. But Father, we had you on our mind this morning as we come this morning, as we was invited to come out to this men day service this morning. Oh, Father, when we got the invitation to come, we know it was you who put it in the heart to invite us this morning. Yes. Father, we said thank you this morning you. for letting us come this morning. Oh, Father, we thank you for so many things this morning. Yes. Oh, Father, we thank you for the neighbor this morning. Thank you for the one that I see and not able to speak this morning. Yes. Oh, Father, we know that you are touching their heart this morning in a special way. Yes, Lord. Oh, Father, someone out there has problems on their heart yes. this morning. Yes. But, Father, we know that you're a problem solver this morning. Yes. Someone is sick this morning, and the doctor don't yes. even know what to do this morning. Yes. But, Father, we know that you are a healer this morning. can yes. heal that problem that Man cannot do. Yes. Oh, Father, the only thing we have to do is have the faith this morning yes. in you this morning. Oh, Father, we know that you can do anything but fail. Yes. Oh, Father, as we come to Andrew's chapel this morning, we know that you are in the midst this morning. Yes. Father, as we walk through the door this morning, we can feel the spirit of you touching our body this morning. Oh, Father, we say thank you this morning. Amen. Oh, Father, bless the one that going to break the bread of life this morning as he come forth. Let's and reach out and trust someone hard this morning. Oh, Father, don't let us forget about the good shepherd of this house this morning. Yes. As he continue on in your name yes. and lead this flock this morning. Oh, Father, we know that you're able to touch him this morning. Yes. Oh, Father, touch the choir this morning and take sing the hymns of joy this morning. Yes. Oh, Father, we know that you're able this morning. Yes. Oh, Father, bless the musician this morning. Yes. As he plays the music of Zion this morning. Oh, Father, we know that you're able to do it and fail. Oh, Father, let us look at the world today, what things that's going on this morning. 
Oh, Father, we need to go down on many knees this morning yes, and ask you to come in. Yes. Father, we know that you can change things. Yes. Oh, Father, we know that you can do things that never people never believed that could be changed. Father, Father, we know you're the miracle worker. Oh, Father, we call on you this morning. Just come out and touch. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. service thus far. Uh, give this one a hand. Now, we at Anderson Chapel, being part of the Missionary Baptist uh, Church, we do have a church covenant that is agreed upon uh, uh, by the church and many members. And if you have a like-minded covenant or you believe in the spirit of this covenant, we ask that you would join in with us today as we shall read our church covenant. We ask that you would stand, and those of you that have preferably there is a covenant in the back of uh, the pew in front of you, uh, 
we will follow the outline as leader and as congregation. By what common experience do we enter into spiritual fellowship and covenant relations with one another? And we live by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, and on the profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, we do now in the presence of God, angels, and his assembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter the covenant with one another and in one body in Christ. What is our bond of union with one another? We are therefore by the aid of the Holy Spirit to walk together in Christian love. What are our privileges and duties in this church? To strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort, to promote its prosperity and spirituality, to sustain its worship, ordinance, discipline, and doctrines. What vows do we gladly make as stewards of what God entrusts to us? To contribute cheerfully and regularly to the court of the ministry, the expense of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel through all nations. What gracious task do we humbly assume? We also engage to maintain family and sacred devotion, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintances. To what manner of life and conversation are we solemnly pledged? To walk circumspectly in the world, to be just in our dealing, faithful in our engagement, and to decorate our deportment, to avoid our family, bad body, and excessive anger, to abstain from the sale of each of the confiscated drinks at the better, and to be done in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. Since one is our master, even Christ, and we all are brothers by the fraternal ministries, are to strengthen each other and adorn the teaching of our Lord and Savior. We are engaged to watch over one another in brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and in distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy and feeling, courtesy and peace, to be slow to take offense, but are always ready for reconciliation, and mindful of the rules of our Savior, the security of our faith. What is our agreement when we move from this community? We will all engage and when we move from this place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. Amen. Amen. Thank God for that church covenant. It's a great document because it contains both the horizontal and the Work of how good God is in the horizontal, what you should do to try to live right. Amen. Well, to we talk about there's a great song called You Can't Beat God's Gift, no matter how you try. But you can try, because they're going to bring pants around and we can give a little bit. Is that all right? <laughs> give as the Lord has given unto you. Amen. And give it cheerfully, because the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Silver and gold are on our heads. He gives us a portion, and we can give some of it back to him. Amen. Amen. Keep your hand closed and tight while nothing goes up and nothing comes in either. So freely as you have received, freely also give. I'm the trustee of Park Patrick Pendulums. No. 
Come before you with bending knees, Lord, and thoughts in our mind, and just thank you for the many, many blessings that you have overcome. Yes. First of all, God, we just want to go back and just thank you for our last night's sleep. God, you touched us early this morning, Lord. Our eyes came up, Lord. God, we've seen another day that we have never seen before. And for God, we just want to say just thank you, Lord. Thank you. God, you've been good to us, Lord. Yes. God, you've been better than you've been to our own side. Yes. Lord, we had eyes this morning that we could see, Lord. Yes. Ears that we could hear, Lord. Yes. And most of all, Lord, we heard a tongue, Lord, yes. that we could bless your holy night, Lord. Yes. God, all the blessings belong to you, Lord. Yes. God, you've been our help, Lord, yes. in the present time of need, Lord. Lord, you brought us from a mighty, mighty long way, Lord. Lord, you brought us through unseen and seen dangers, Lord. Lord, you've been right there with us, Lord. Yes. Even from the rocket of our prayer, Lord, up to this present time. Some say you've been better than we've been to a broad, Lord. But God, I know you have to be a savior, Lord. Yes. And most of all, we just thank you, Lord, for what you did over 2,000 years ago, Lord. Couldn't find nobody, Lord. But he said, prepare me a body. I'll go down. And I'll redeem me and back to me. See, he was the only one that could do it. Some of them say he didn't have to do it. But yes, he did. And thank God for him doing it. All those sacrifices that they had to make, they had to keep right on going back, doing it over and over again. Jesus came one time and did. And that was good. For eternity, Lord. God, you've done it for me when I was sinner, Lord. God, you're doing it for us right now. Yes. Lord, we just have so much to thank you for, Lord. Yes. Lord, on this men's day service this evening, Lord, God, we know that you're right here, Lord. Lord, we ask, just ask you just bless us in everything that you see that we have here, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the portion of him that we have this afternoon, Lord. God, we thank you for everything that's going to go on, Lord. Also, Lord, we ask you, Lord, just bless the man, sir. Just come bring forth your word, Lord. God, we know that it's going to be food for our souls, Lord. Lord, right now we're asking that you prepare our place, Lord. Just fill us up that morning, Lord. God, give us exactly what we need, Lord. Lord, we need a blessing from you, Lord, each and every day, Lord. And we thank you for what you already have done, Lord. And God, we thank you for the man of this church, Lord, that's carrying out his duty as the Lord has sent for him to do. He has a sign in the Lord, and he's doing it, Lord. And also, Lord, the man of the hour is going to bring forth the word, Lord. Bless you, this blessing, Lord. Also, Lord, bless the David, the mother, and everybody in this whole entire building. Even though the ones are not here, Lord, you know that situation, Lord. Lord, we ask you to stop by, Lord. Whatever they need, Lord. God, we know that you got it. Yes. And for that, we just want to say thank you, Lord. And we thank you for those blessings right now, Lord. Because yes. so it's already done. It's already done. Yes. And I know it's already done. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. So it, it has become a trend in the church of late when you can ask a certain question and well, I guess not really in the, historically in the African American church, we always have call and response. But it is a question that people ask in church and after day that has come across culture. And so you ask a very simple question, you say, What time is it? You say word time. So you say, What time is it? Word time. So it's time for us to get ready for preach work. The Lord is going to introduce the speaker of the hour is uh, Reverend Hoover Blackwell. Good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. I give an honor, first of all, to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, yes. the one who has redeemed my soul, opened my eyes, given me strength and power to do great and mighty exploits, because that's what Christians do. Amen. I greet you this morning. I also would like to thank you for uh, inviting the great man of God who labors without fear. His name is Andre Knight. He is the pastor, executive pastor of Knight Memorial Project in Rocky Mountain. Uh, Brother Knight is, is a child of Eastern North Carolina. His parents are from the eastern part of the state. His mom hails from Martin County, by the way of Edgecombe County, and his dad, um, Edgecombe and Nash County. So he's born and raised, got this black soil deep in his veins. Um, he's a friend of Camilla's dancing, which is how he got back here, Pastor Lewis. I helped you find shelter. Amen. This morning, uh, Brother Dancy opened up the door of opportunity. But I'd like to say most about uh, Mr. Knight. Uh, he is much beleaguered and hated by the media, which, in my opinion, gives him a great commendation to know that he's a man who fights for the people. And he's known in Rocky Mount as the knight who will fight for you. Mm -hmm. So what I'm here to say is I'm happy to work with him and for him. He's my boss. He's the chair of the board of Opportunities Industrialization Center in Rocky Mount. And under his leadership, we have grown exponentially. We have brought health care for poor people and black people in Edgecombe County for the first time in about 30, 40 years. Today, we have more black physicians in Rocky Mount taking care of 15,000 people. That's about a third of our total population. And um, under his leadership at OIC, we have expanded. We have a very robust logistics business. Uh, we uh, send trucks all over America, and mostly through from Virginia to South Carolina. And I'm proud to say we do it with people who look like you and me. That's right. And we also, under his leadership, have a priority on serving uh, men and women who come in back from prison. We, every year, um, place at least 100 to 150 men and women who are coming back from prison, helping them to understand that they can live a better way. Amen? Amen. There's a different way to live, and you can live great, live well, take care of your family, fulfill your dreams, honor God, and build your community. This is the man that has helped establish a vision in the public sector in Rocky Mountain where black people no longer have to look down at our shoes and look to the side and afraid to look at everybody in the eye. You know, that was a way of life for black men especially for hundreds of years. And some traditions are hard to break. That's right. You understand? And so we end up normalizing, being able to get along with oppression carried on our backs. Come on now. Instead of being used by the God that we say we serve, preaching about parting Red Seas and bringing people back to life, and afraid to stand up with a backbone and speak the truth yourself, I'm happy to introduce you to a man who's not afraid to believe in the whole world, who through his faith and his word, his power, his influence, his prayer, and working together with people 
to help to change and shift the narrative of Rocky Mount to where the media wants to tell you that we are one of the most dangerous cities in North Carolina. I'm here to tell you the truth. The truth is of other matter. It's under our leadership. Ashcombe County has ranked number 99 in health outcomes for poor people and black people all across this state. Number 99 out of 100, that ain't good. Under our leadership, it's moved up. We're number 93. Right. Amen. We're moving in the right direction because we got people who are unafraid to speak truth to power. Come on now. I want to introduce you to a guy who fights for the little man and not just thank God for the money that some folks want to bring and give and tip us Come on now. for giving our all. That's right. This is the guy that's opened up the door to policies that have created in Rocky Mount more black entrepreneurs per capita than any city in North Carolina other than Charlotte. Somebody needs to say, bless the Lord. That means that there's plenty of black folk that own businesses. We have more black businesses in downtown Rocky Mountain than you do in Durham, Raleigh, Chapel Hill, Fayetteville, High Point, Greensboro. If you think I'm lying, get out your car, get off that stupid website, and get out your car and walk the streets. And see how many people who look like you own their businesses and their buildings. What about that? Come on, man. And under this man, we've been able to build and create programs for housing and for the homeless and for the poor that have opened up doors of opportunity and literally brought in millions of dollars into our city to change the narrative. I want to introduce you to the guy that took on Carolina Power and Light Company right. and Duke Energy. If you don't believe me, you go in your annals and look in the record. I'm mm. telling you something that the media don't say, because they don't want to expose the truth. That's right. That's why people like Andre Knight, Ruben Blackwell, and Camilla Stead said, don't mind shaking up a feather or roughing up a bed if necessary, because we need to know what we're doing. This guy led the challenge for unusually high utility bills. And because of his advocacy with the North Carolina Eastern Municipal Power Agency, the only black man to serve on that commission, he was able to figure out and find out that the city of Rocky Mount owed, was owed a half a billion dollars that we were paying unjustly, that poor people were paying every month in their utility bills. And because of his courage and because of his mouth, and some people want to shut up because of his courage. I'm going to say it again. And his mouth, today, Duke Power took down and they paid the city of Rocky Mount half a billion dollars and paid cities and communities across North Carolina two billion dollars more. You never knew that, did you? That was intentional. That's why today, all I wanted to do was give you an opportunity to clear your hearing, amen, so you can hear the Lord speak to you about what he has to say. So after the singing is done this morning, amen, I'd like you to put your hands together in advance for praise, amen, for the Lord to open up the heavens and speak clearly. So when you hear his voice, it ain't Andre you're listening to, amen, it's the Holy Ghost, amen, God bless you, thank you.
the fire and got some spirit. But that brother said, free at last. Free at last. Woo! Thank God Almighty. So, free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. Free at last. See, when you're free, you ain't got no shadows on your feet. And I can imagine that that 1903, they were free. They said, we ain't truly free because who the Son has set free, they are free indeed. They said, we need a church right here on this property. How many know that we are standing and sitting on holy ground? Come on, somebody. Woo! Hey, man, when the Holy Ghost get in you, you get in your kitchen, you be stirring up some bread pudding or whatever. Cooking some calls and squash, and you got to say, Lord, I thank you for the food on the table. Hallelujah! Yes. Oh, glory to God. Lord, I got ahead of myself. I don't know who Ruben was talking about. But I'm just a little country boy from the big city of Rocky Mountain. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I just want to come and just to share just a little bit with you. Amen. What the Lord has given me. And just yeah. yeah. reading this, the history that Sister Fitz sent me, it was just so rich and profound that in the year 1903, over 121 years ago, it was two brothers that came together and said, we need a church. How many know that if, 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 if two or three would touch and agree? Oh, no. uh -huh. It's all right. I know that even when you are by yourself in the kitchen, that the Lord is with you or in your bedroom or in your shower when you sing. But when you come to church with your brother and your sister, and one begin to testify, one begin to sing, one begin to say hallelujah. You feel the presence of the Lord. You can protect yourself, not to assemble yourself together. Woo, come on, somebody. Hey, amen, hey, amen. And then I was sitting there, and I know the Lord is in here, but then when they saw the song, they said, He's sweet out Storm cloud may rise. Come on, somebody. And storm winds may blow. I tell the world wherever I go that I found a savior in peace we are the and I know I was in the right place at the right time. Why? Because that was my father's favorite song. Hey, Amen. Sometimes we two or three of us sitting in the prayer meeting, he start singing this song that he's sweet I know. And he would just close his eyes and red back and star clouds may rise. Hallelujah. How many know that when, when trouble come your way? That you got a savior yeah. that you can call on and depend on. Come on, somebody. Yeah. How many know that he's your battle that? Yeah. How many know that he's the lawyer in the courtroom? How many know that he's the bread of the starving land? He's yeah. my water when I'm thirsty. Yeah. He's my bread when I'm hungry. He's my friend when I'm friendly. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Glory to God. Uh, We're going to have some little country church today. Glory to God because God is here. Why? Because we brought him here that I can feel his spirit. Yeah. Woo! Can you say amen? Yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. They said, ah, I'm reading a church right here in this location. And they didn't, they didn't argue about it, but they said, well, two or three. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Uh huh. Then they got the third witness, but they got another preacher. He sealed the deal, and they bought the property for $10. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Uh huh. Somebody said it take a lot, but it just took some willing people to just touch and agree and to do the work of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Glory to God. And they said they built a little wooden shack. But look at us now. Come on, somebody. Right. Yeah. Oh, that oh, man, man, from two of the front and two of the back. Come on, somebody. No longer we can slip out the back door, but you can stop right there and use the bathroom. Come on into the house of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Woo! Did he bring up from a mighty long way? Come on, say neighbor. Did he bring me from a mighty long way? Snap your hands and tell God's face. Woo! And he was riding down the road, Ruben said, God, God, look at all these tobacco fields and salt beans and whatever kind of beans. He said, but it was our people who cut down the tree. Cut them down for nothing. Their blood and tears is in the salt. But God, Woo! His yeah. precious brother. Come on, somebody. Yeah. They gave us strength to rise up. Yeah. Oh, from slavery to freedom. Yeah. 
That's why when you say that song, free at last. Thank God Almighty. I'm free at last. I uh, get down in your soul sometimes. Come on, somebody. I love to do worship and praise song. But when you sing that song from free, praise the Lord, I'm free. No longer bound, no more chains holding me. My soul is come on, somebody. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. If you ain't free, we can stop right there. You can get free right here. The altar is open. And the doors of the church is open. So if you bow, you can get free right there. We can stop right here, man. Come on, somebody. And we ain't got nobody that's bound this morning, are we? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Why? Because we said Anderson Chapel. Uh huh. They don't mind doing the work of the Lord. Right. It just didn't start with, with, with Pastor Lewis, but it started a long time ago. Yeah. I didn't want to preach it with some deacons, with some brothers. You ain't got to wait for the pastor to do everything. Right. Well, I know y'all believe. I know y'all believe. Y'all, y'all believe that. Cause I know y'all some working folks up here. Yeah, come on, somebody. Amen. But we're two or three. Amen. And sometimes I can be by myself, but when I get with my brothers and my sister, that gives me strength, that gives me comfort, somebody. That's right. Amen. They said in, in 1903, they had $10. They bought some land. Come on, somebody. Right. Now, we know it would be more than that today. But they took what they had. And how many know that if you take what you got, God will multiply. Well, yeah. Then he multiplied the two fish and five loaves of bread. Um, but when you murmur and complain, God can't increase it. He can't bless it. So you say, God, whatever I got, I'm going to give it to you. You do the multiply. You do the increase. You do it, God, not me. Come on, somebody. And I know the women, sometimes you cook and you got a family that you got to feed. You ain't got for one head of collars and a half a chicken, and then the preacher comes over. You know, he wants the, 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 the wing and the, and the breast. You get to cook it and cook it and then you buy something else and things about you. You buy something else and then you make up something else and then you buy something and then you have a table spread. Come on, somebody. Don't God multiply. Hey, man, we had a missionary in our church, missionary Mildred Graham. She said, oh, she had her children. They were sitting around on the floor and she said, Lord, I ain't got no food. And she said, where the Lord spoke to her? And she went in her kitchen. Mmm. And she said, she just said, well, I ain't got nothing in my cup. He said, well, what I do, I get a pot and put some water in it. And she put some water in the pot and put the pot on the stove. And she kept on praying. She said, keep on praying. The Lord is now. And she was just praying. And all of a sudden, the pot was just boiling. There was nothing in the pot. There wasn't even no eggs in the pot. There wasn't nothing in the pot but some water. And she just kept on praying. Because she was a praying woman. How many praying people with that? Mm, she was a praying woman. And she said, a minute of knock came on the door. Somebody came there and want no food back here. Uh huh. But somebody wanted the church members. I was just thinking about you. He had a bag full of groceries. She said, Look at God. Come on. Son. Let God make a way out of your way. Uh huh. Then he used the widow night when, 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 the, when, the, when the needle got to the bottom of the barrel. Come on, somebody. She didn't look at the bottom. She didn't look at the meal. She said, That's my last scoop of meal. Oh, she just kept on giving her shit. Come on, somebody. Every time she go in there, she'll dip something out some more. And God kept replenishing that. Come on, God, do it. Yeah. Oh, look at us and say, how in the world can they work a two dollar job and wear a two hundred thousand dollar suit? Well, yeah. come on, somebody. Uh, how can God uh, take something and make? Take nothing and make something out of it. Yeah. How can God take a little bit and make a lot out of it? Come on, somebody. Yeah. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Oh, glory to God. Over in Hebrews 10 and 25, it said, Not forsaken the assembly of ourselves together, as a matter as some is, but exalting one another so much to move as ye see the day of approaching. When we come together, it is to encourage others to do the good work. Come on, somebody to the good work. Good work. As let us consider how to stir up one another. 
See, sometimes I could be just low down in my spirit. Or somebody just made me mad before I came to church. Or I heard some bad news. But I said, I'm going to break my way to Anderson Temple. I'm going to Anderson Chapel. When I get in here, it's, it's considered how to stir up one another. And to love in the good work. So when you get here and I'm low, but you you go fire and you get to sing and you get to testify and you get to tell the goodness of Jesus and all he done for you. And somebody said, My soul cries out, What? Hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Then I begin to get some power and you get to stir me up. Come on, somebody. Then you get to sing that song that come by here, good Lord. Come by here. And then, you, and then somebody else catch up with the song that said, Somebody pray, the Lord, come back here. Come on, somebody. Then one mother will get up and testify, and then one of them will jump up like popcorn again and tell the goodness of Jesus. Come on, somebody. That's how it's a good church. And everybody, God is good, isn't he? But it comes here to stir up the gift in us. Come on, I'm mean, in order. We got talents, we got the gift, but we come in, we can stir up each other. Come on, say stir it up. Come on, say stir it up. Oh, break my God. Uh huh. I know the topic that Brother Dancy gave you, man. That said, when we fight with the Lord on our side, oh, uh, we win. I'm in order. You got the Lord on your side every time, you're going to win. Uh, sometimes it may seem gloomy, and sometimes it may seem like you're being defeated, but if God is on your side, come on, somebody like Job. Oh, Job was a God fearing man. Oh, uh, God, Job had hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, cows and sheep, and he was one of the richest men in the nation. Come on, somebody. Uh, but the devil tried to make him. Uh, 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 make a deal with God. How do you know that one won't work? He said, uh, I know that Job is an upright man. But if you just give me uh, the opportunity to remove the head around him, he was cursed the day that he was born. Come on, somebody. And God gave him permission, but Job was an upright man. Come on, somebody. How many know that you're going to have tests in your life? Yeah. Um, sickness come, but you got tests in your life. Yeah. The big financial job come, and you had to uh, find out what you're going to do about bankruptcy, or you can't pay your bills. That's a test. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But the Lord is on your side. Yeah. Ain't no devil in hell can turn you around. Come on, somebody. And Job was sick, and he was on his bed of affliction. Even his wife and his children told him to turn his back on God. But Job knew something about the Lord. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Don't y'all know something about the Lord? Yeah. You know something about the Lord? Stay here. Yeah. He knew something about the Lord. He was there. He was dying. And he was almost spared down to the bone. But he knew that God was a healer. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they tried to make Job cook the day that he was born, but Job said, I held on to God's unchanging hand. And God restored him. Come on and say, yeah. yeah. How many know that God will restore you? Yeah. Even in difficult times, yeah. difficult circumstances, God will uh, deliver you. Come on and say, yeah. 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 See, God's hand was upon Job. Right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I know that when men fight and when women fight and we got God on our side, we win. Uh -huh. Even when he, uh -huh, uh -huh, when Gilead, come on somebody. See, sometimes it don't take a whole lot of nobody, especially who ain't agreeing with you and busting and bumming and all that. It don't take all that. Come on. Uh -huh. It don't take all that. Uh -huh. But Gilead, Gilead was one of uh -huh, God's men. And and Gilead said, well, I, I'm going to fight the men like I need a big, I need a big army, a big army. They was afraid because they were so men. It looked like they were grasshopper. But uh, Gilead said, I got to get, I got to get this, this, this large army of soldiers. Uh -huh. But how many know that God was in the plan? Come on, say God was in the plan. See, sometimes we can't see down the road. Uh -huh, but it's the on Monday, keep on walking. Uh -huh. On Tuesday, keep walking. On Wednesday, keep walking. Let Jesus be your God. And see, and, and, and Gilead had these uh, all these men, uh -huh, mighty men, and they were gonna they were gonna fight. They said we we gonna fight to to the end. We gonna fight. We gonna win this battle. But God said, wait a minute. You 
You get two men. Come on. I'm going to tell you, when you get too many friends. Come on, man. Women, come on, man. You get too many so called friends. Come on, man. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, he told me, he told, wait a minute. You got two men. Mm. But I don't want you to pick them up. I'm going to do this. Come on, man. I'm, 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 I'm going to do the separation. Mm. Uh, uh, see, sometimes we want to do the separation. We say, let the weak and the tail grow up. Come on, man. Uh, but I will do the separation. You see, I might try to separate you or discard you, but you the one that God wanted you. Come on, man. Did God use David? Come on, man. Oh, wow, man. They, 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 they forgot about David. He was in the backside of the desert. Mm. Little Roni guy, little strongly guy, down there, mad at the sheep. And they and his brother and everybody wanted the anointing to be king. But God said, wait a minute. Put on down the old man Jesse house. He said, wait a minute. Where your, where your sons? And he lied his sons up. He said, wait a minute. Don't you got one more? Said, wait a minute. Oh, Come on, that's right. I got the, the little wee one. Come on. Somebody said the little wee one. <laughs> hey, I got boo-boo. I got little boo-boo over here and little Nick Juan over here. He said, wait a minute. Bring them on. And the oil poured on David's head. Come on, somebody. I see God used who he wanted to use. Ain't that right? Somebody said, don't let the devil use you, fool you, and then turn around and what? School you. We ain't going to do that today, right? But he told God, he said, you got to, man. He said, what I want you to do is take them down to the water. And those who, who lack water like a dog. And yeah, somebody that water like a dog, we probably put them out of our house. Huh? <laughs> what is wrong with this lunatic? They lapping water like a dog. But those that kneel down so pretty, he said, no, I don't want those. Mm. I want those men. Well, mm. it was 300. He said, give me those. Those are the ones that going to win the battle. Come on, somebody. Yeah. So if you think you're so high-minded and your bank account is so big that God worked, the church can't go on without you. <laughs> God will switch it up. Wow. Only God get the credit, right? right Come on, somebody. And so God took 32,000, reduced it with 22, and then reduced it again to 300 men That's right. to defeat the Midianites and put them in control in the hands of Gilead. Come on, somebody. Well, there was another one, David. Uh huh. He was fighting the giant. How many know we got giants in our life? Come on, man. Uh huh. But David, David, David. Uh huh. Uh huh. Said, well, I, I don't fight with no sword. I don't fight with no AK-47 or no uh, what y'all carry? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no switchblade. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh Completely fade. I know y'all got some uh, live balling somewhere. We ain't talking about that. But when he said, David said, I got five smooth stones. I got a slingshot. That's right. He said, I got five smooth stones, and that represented the books of the books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, the Bible, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. He said, I got five stones. I'm gonna take this brother out. <laughs> I don't know if we can take it in and out. All right, man. They're going to take all that. I'm going to give you all this testimony. Because I've been through hell and high water, y'all. I'm going to write it back. I know that's right. From the branch, Lord. I've been through <laughs> the storm and the rain. Yes, sir. But I made it. All that's right. right. I had to cry sometimes. <laughs> I can't sing. But thank God I made it. All right. The three of us have been, Two or three has been in the thick of the battle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a battle. Mm. Yes, sir. You know, we had our own folks that said, Come on now. To leave us mm. in the battle. Have you ever been in a situation? Yeah. Mm. Even some of your family, you thought they had your back. Come on now. Yes, Come on now. Or your best friend. Yes. And you turn around, you don't have nobody. Come on now. That's why I said put your trust in no man. Mm -hmm. We've been in the thick of it from 2000 on up to 2024. That's right. And the last big battle was up with a state official. And this lady said, right, come in. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. She said, give me those names. 
First she told me to take them names and put them in the Bible. Okay, now she said, you put them names in the Bible? I said, no. She said, give them names, I'll put them in the Bible. She said, me again, at a funeral, you put them names? I said, no. She said, me to repass? I said, no. She said, well, I'm going to do it. But how many of you know, if God is for you, Come on now. He more than the whole world against you. Yeah. We had the majority of the General Assembly of North Carolina fighting Little Rocky Mountain. Come on now. Because this guy keeps it stirred up so much, you can't tell him what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they had. My neck was on Nero chopping block That's like, right. like Paul. Mm. You know, I just think about how people just quote the scripture. You know, but 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 uh, when you go through something, and during those times, those apostles went through something. Wow! If some of these preachers knew that they were going to be stoned to death, they would be behind this poor bit. Come on! Now. Can somebody tell you I'm going to kill you? I'm going to stone you? And Come you know on! They're going to stone you. Hmm. It's easy to say that for God I live and for God come on now. until come on the now. time comes. Come on now. Come on now. Who's going to stand? That's right. Wow. They say, I'm going to crucify you upside down. You can drown in your blood. You think you see all these folks on TV talking about uh, right. so Come on now. Right. Come, come on now. Come on now. Freak. That's good. If them folks were making what you make, you think they're going to tell you so your whole check? Come on now. Listen to me. My, my, my. Mm. But when you are facing the enemy, but and, mm. and, and when you go on a face near on chopping block, mm. that you know that they're gonna cut your head off, mm. man, they're gonna pick this Bible up. No, they won't even pick the Bible up. <laughs> they will flee. It's all said, uh, uh, Satan said, said uh, drop your weapons and flee because God has given me the authority. To walk all over thee. Mm. And when you really see somebody that's been down to their last dime, mm. or been at death doors, or been at a place where nobody uh, was there and God brought them out, that's somebody you need to know. That's right. That means somebody knows something. Come on now. These mothers in here, that's somebody your children need to know. Mm. So they can tell you God can make a way out of. Right. And talk, and, and these deacons they need to know. Mm. When you working for fifty cent, I hope none of them work for that. Now. But <laughs> God blessed them to have a house and provide for that. That's the that's the role models we need to tell our children about. Come on, somebody. Mm. Right. But mm. God will give you the strength to go through whatever you're going through. That's right. Yes, he will. But you got to trust him. We got to trust him. That's right. I will trust the Lord until I die. Come on now. But if we know that we are facing some of the circumstances that, that the apostle faced, some of us, they will weed out some of us. Mm -hmm. God would have to do the separation because we separate ourselves. That's right. He don't want to go through no trials and tribulations. Come on now. But but he said, well, the two or three assembled themselves again, then he would be in the midst. Mm. And that's my self talk where two or three. Mm. Because that's what the vision that birthed this church right here on this ground mm. is two brothers. Mm. With the confirmation of Reverend, another Reverend, that sealed it and they bought the land. Come on, somebody. Mm. God. Still in control. Yes. Yes. But when we fight with the Lord on our side, mm. we win every time. Every time. Yeah. If we put God first, we will win every time. That's right. He didn't say every day gonna be Sunday. Mm -hmm. Every day gonna be how out because his son suffered on the cross. Come on, son. Mm. He bled and died for our sin. For our salvation. Come on, somebody. Come on, I cherish the old rugged cross. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But when we fight together, brothers, when we stand together, 
God is with us. God is with us. And every time we win. And to end this, even in this history, when 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 the two or three got together and they got with the those in the community because they was having prayer meetings in their home and they were probably meeting on the bush hall and they knew that they had to have a place of worship. Mm-hmm. Uh, they didn't have to find a musician, but they sung the songs of Zion. And they would say the song, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. That save a wretch like me. I didn't know we was lost, but now we are found. Blind, but now I see. Then they would sing the song, By and by, when the morning comes, all the saints of God are gathering home. We would tell the story how we overcome. For we will understand it better by and by. Come on now. That's what I tell my son. Sometimes he gets so itchy. I'm like, son, slow it down. Mm-hmm. Be patient. Be patient. Trust in God. Mm-hmm. Everything don't come instant. Mm-hmm. Be patient. Right. Be patient. Put God first. Yeah. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. That's all the please is, and I, I used to tell my church, I used to say, well, please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. Mm. And then the song said, when God get through with me, mm. I shall come forth. You shall come forth. As what? Here it goes. And you say amen. Amen. So Anderson Chapel. Reverend Lewis and his lovely wife and his congregation. God is with you. Yes, he is. Brothers, God is with you. Yes. So when we look at the history of this church, looking at the vision of this church, it mirrors what the foundation of this church worldwide was established. Mm-hmm. That's a beacon of light for the community to come. And to learn about the word of God. And then later the choir came and they would sing the songs of Zion. For inspiration and edification. Come on somebody. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's why I said forsake not yourself. Just, it's alright to stay home. But when you come with your brothers and sisters. Yeah. Something about it. We just draw on each other's strength. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah. Amen. It's all right doing Zoom, but sometimes when you get in here and get the clap in your hand, I will feel it good. Hallelujah. It's all that I feel good, good, good. Good down in my soul. Every time I think about Jesus, it makes me feel good. Amen. Amen. I'm done. What the Lord told me to do. Yeah. Men, when we fight with the Lord on our side, yeah. we win. Yeah. Yeah. It's for all Every of time. us, men and women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Lord is on our side, we win. And just yeah. remember the great history of this church. We're just two. And then it saw out the Reverend, and it was three. Yeah. Two or three gathered in my name. It would be in the midst. Amen. And that's what we got to believe. So be not weary and well doing. Just hold on to God's unchanging name. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this hour. We thank you for this branch of Zion. God, we thank you for the pastor of this church and his wife and his family. God, we thank you for the men being men. God, we thank you for Sheriff Knight. Deacon Knight, oh God, for the labor that he has done in Edge Hall County. God, we thank you for the women in this church. Praise God. God, we thank you for everything that has been said. And that God, we ask right now that you would continue to bless this branch of Zion. Oh God, let people see that this is the, the light on the hill. Oh man, that they can come to be healed and be delivered and be set free. Oh God, that we don't be in Past judgment, but they can come 
and drink freely from the fountain and eat at the table, oh God, the word of God. God, we thank you. Oh God, we ask that you would continue to bless Brother Dancy, God, and whatever he does to get the word out on social media. God, we ask that you would bless him right now and bless the choir and the voice of God and let them be strong and have a message in their voice and, and in the words that they sing that souls will be delivered and set free. God, we thank you right now. Right, thank you. Oh God, as we about to conclude this, sir. God, don't let the, your spirit leave us. But, oh, God, be with us. Walk with us. Talk with us, God. Oh, God, be our God. And God, we thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. amen. God is not some abstract concept. He is a real God who has made us. And you can know him personally through his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came, was born, did great miracles, and went about doing good. And then he was false accused, convicted in the court wrongfully. Then he was beaten, then he died. But you know what? He got up at us. He got up with no power in his hands, and you will receive him as your personal Savior. Make him the Lord of your life. You will have eternal life. Amen. After this life comes the judgment. You stand for the Lord in peace. And he said, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You can tell him thank you. Face to face. Let us rise up this afternoon. The doors of the church are open. You can receive Jesus for yourself. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to worry about who might be looking at you. Nobody in here will stand for the Lord before you. You have to stand for yourself. He has open arms. Father, some folk won't receive you with the Lord. You come to him. My head is to the Christian experience, my brother.
and Sister Janice Bailey for the programs. God has been good to me, and I have been doing the real estate program for around five years. And I promise you, I am going to step aside next year. I tried this year, <laughs> but I had nobody pick it up. And I hate to see us without one. And I said, I got a matter of fact, the day I did it, I texted him, and he said he would do it. I've been trying to get him down here for you, you know, he's way out here, so. You know, I can get him from the city right about. So uh, I was glad to get him down here. And then I thought about seeing you the pastor when he came here. So um, I said, you know, he, he, won't, he won't know stranger to him. But um, another th special thank you to my brothers, um, Ruben Knight, Ruben, Ruben Knight, Ruben Blackwell, and um, Andre Knight. We've been out on the battlefield, uh, not only politically fighting, but in the NAACP and our state president. She was online watching. Um, he's not president anymore. He's the vice president. I was their vice, but we, we try to step down and give young folks a chance to come in. And what I like about this guy, um, um, him and um, uh, uh, Sheriff you know, Atkinson, those guys are younger than me. And they, and they respect me like I respect them. And, and they keep me motivated. You know, we were always talking about the youth. And um, so I like working with guys younger than me, and um, and keeping them encouraged. You know, we just trust in somebody. You just go come days long. You talk to them because you go out be old. And, and that's one thing I do. I hold it about the caliber, and uh, and they open caliber too. But what he did tell you, he was a graduate of uh, North Carolina Central University. Um, and um, when he came back from Central, he uh, bought this big old house in Rocky Mountain. One of the biggest houses in Rocky Mountain, prestigious, um, uh, on Falls Road, and they didn't like it. He was teaching GED at Edgecombe Community College, and he challenged the city. That's why he's on the city council now. He didn't tell you this, but when he came to the NAACP, I told him, I said, going to fight you. You were teaching ed, uh, GED at Edgecombe Community College. They gave him an evaluation <laughs> twice in a year. I told him, I said, going to fight you. I said, come in and this Negro. Uh, standing up challenging them, and he had bought that prestigious house in Rocky Mountain too on Fall Road. No, they won't want to have that. So he's been on the council for the last 23 years. We have done some things. Uh, uh, working with some older people, you know, it was kind of tough. Um, uh, Reverend Lee and all of them, but uh, he, he, he came in. We had to fight some old folks, but we, 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 we endured, and that's what I like about it. And to the stand, um, uh, the people end up. Uh, supporting him. He won the um, most well known people in Rocky Mountain because everybody called him. He, he, he not only just at War One, but he's the people uh, person. And, and, and you know, I was thinking today, I said, man, you know what? I gave it up too soon because um, Reverend Blackwell, he's uh, actually from Marksville, and um, his mama got sick. He brought her here after daddy had passed. and. Um, and um, he was going back and forth to the Roxboro, teaching down there, passing his daddy church. Andre passed his daddy church. And um, I said, I, I should have waited one more year, because I need to get Brother Blackwell back down here, because you talking about a powerful speaker, too. But uh, I just want to thank y'all guys for coming out, and uh, everybody today is supporting. I don't normally talk, but these guys here are my brothers. They are my brothers. They got my back, and I got their back. So I just, I, I could not sit down on y'all. But y'all, thank y'all. We have long to know and say to you, God, for a long time. Reverend, I might you know where we are. Thank you so much for sharing your word with us. Thank all of y'all for coming out and making our means day what it is today. Thank you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, brother. Uh, Nancy has, I think, covered about everything that was that may have been missed. Uh, but we thank God for each of you coming out today. Uh, delighted, the powerful word today. Uh, when we fight with God on our side, we win. And notice that I, 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 I paused that in, I added that in because I want you to hear there. There's a difference there. Not when we fight with God. 
See, many of us are fighting with God. We're fighting against him. Yes. But when we fight with God on our side, yes, we win. Amen. So we need to have the Lord with us at all times. And, uh, and uh, Reverend Knight, uh, this is on behalf of uh, Anderson Chapel. We want to present this here to you as a token of our appreciation. We can't thank you for the word, but we just uh, want to give you something. Uh, maybe you can give you a meal and uh, thank God for that traveling this way. Uh, because as I stated there earlier, to told me, I said, you don't come to Anderson Chapel by chance. You don't pass by. I'm going to and say, hey, there's a church there. I'm going to stop there today. You come here with the purpose of your heart. And to each one of you today that came with the purpose in your heart, we recognize all the men today. I just want to uh, just, uh, just give us uh, the, the church uh, you're representing today. One spokesman from each church can you know I'm talking about St. Jesus Christ. I'm getting bright for the St. Matthew Catholic Church. We will die a pastor right now. But we do have me and they coming up this fall Sunday. We invite y'all to come out and join with us. Amen. Deacon Jeff from Mill Wall, Missionary Baptist Church. I also don't have a pastor right now. And uh, I really enjoy it. Amen. Deacon Jimmy Fred from St. Peter Church of Christ, a sacrifice. My pastor is uh, El Amico Lee. Amen. Deacon Elton Bell, a Washington Branch Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. 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 He can probably ran out my holy temple talk where we would have a pastor to it, right? Amen. 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 Y'all close on me. Y'all close on me. Holy temple. Close to. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, 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 two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, yeah. August 14th, we'll go for a pastor. All right. All right. All right. All right. Good. God bless you. And we look forward to being with Washington Branch. Uh, here in the uh, uh, second Sunday in October, they'll celebrate their pastor's anniversary. We're thankful for a space shower. I'm looking. Hey, you've been there long enough. I'm representing a space shower with a beer that was today. God bless you. And any other new beer that has uh, come in to celebrate with you today, I did well, just want to take an opportunity to acknowledge you. Because again, you didn't come here by chance. Uh, you didn't come here by chance. You came. And we thank God for uh, Reverend Rice for presiding today and uh, his wife being here with us. Now, at, at this time, uh, just before, do uh, you have anything you'd like to add? Either like one of us? We're getting ready to transition into our communion service. And I want to make sure everything was in order before we transition to our communion service. Because uh, at, at this at this point, at the point of time, you heard you heard the preacher tell us about Christ, uh, how he suffered for us. You heard uh, Reverend Rice tell us how how he died for us. Right. And he died to set us free, and we are free. We are free indeed today. But it did not come without cost. That's right. For he suffered and died. Yes. For our sin. And Jesus said that as often as we do this, we do show forth his death and his suffering till he should come again. Amen. So our deacons will come, and I uh, know that they are probably extending the invitation to some other deacons to, to join. Uh, as we prepare, as we prepare, we come with the mindset that we know that Christ died for our sin. Amen. And when the plate comes towards you, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, let the plate pass. Because this is for those who have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. For as often as we do this, we do show forth his death and his suffering till he should come again. Amen. Amen. I love the fact that Reverend Knight, uh, although on this men's day, he reached back and went through history, the history of Anderson Chapel. And even in the history of Anderson Chapel and so many other churches, remember that there was a time where uh, the communion, the Lord's Supper, would be an evening service where you would come back and partake of the Lord's Supper because they were 
committed to the fact that Jesus suffered and died, and they wanted this to be a holy and solemn occasion. We've gotten so busy in our life and our style today that we just try to rush through, hurry through. It becomes an afterthought. But Jesus said that this is important. As Do this in remembrance of him. As often as we do this, we do show forth his death and his suffering to he shall come again. You, th- you think about how he suffered and died on the cross for my sins and your sin. He was whipped with 40 stripes, save one, 39 stripes on his back for your sins and my sins. And, and, and you have to put yourself into the mindset to just receive while he suffered and died for us. I've told you many a times it was bad enough when grandma and mama used to take that old switch, the one that we call the reacher and the wrap around, yeah. where they would hit you with that. But to think about 40, not 39 stripes with shards of metal entangled in there to inflict pain on the body, 39 stripes. He endured because of our sin to set us free. And when we come before this table, we focus upon what he did, how he suffered and died for our sin. When Jesus was with his disciples in the upper room, he took the bread and he blessed it. He took the wine and he blessed it. We are not able of ourselves to do like Jesus did. But we are able to ask on through prayer that he will intercede on by our behalf that the Father would bless this bread and bless this wine. That as we partake of it, we may take away the natural and we will be reminded of the spiritual. Paul said that it's dangerous to partake of this unworthily. But he said, likewise, it's dangerous not to partake of it. Simply put, Paul said that you ought to live each and every day. That's right. yes. Yes. That you are able to partake of this. Yes. That's right. Yes. I know we struggle. I know we have shortcomings. But the word said, if you have fault against your brother or sister, go to your brother. Go to your sister. Mm-hmm. Many of us, we may have offended someone today. You may have offended somebody this morning. You may have been on Facebook. You may have been on I don't know where you were this morning. But one thing I do know, that as we pray here today, as Deacon May shall lead us in prayer, that you can go to the Father, and he will, he will do just what he said that he would do. Amen. Deacon May is going to offer a prayer. Father God, we come, Father God. Walk on this table, the physical table. First of all, Father God, we thank you for sending your son Jesus, who shed his blood for the remission of our sin. Without that, Father God, there would be no table here. But you love us just that way. Yet while we were still sinners, mm-hmm. that you sent your own begotten son. Yes, Lord. And that he shed his blood on Calvary Cross for us. The Father God will come for you and then thank you for your son Jesus. Thank you. Now, Father God, we know we have sinned and come short of your blood. Mm-hmm. We realize that, Father God, and so we can approach the table, Father God. We ask in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That you touch, look in our heart. We're not looking at you, you, uh, no one else. Touch us. And you find anything that handles us, Father God. Mm-hmm. So eat and drink. We ask you to forgive us right now in the name right of Jesus. Lord. But Father God, at this time, we ask you to come, Father God, change it from the physical to a spirit, to change yes. the bread, change the way that when we eat and drink, it will not be condemnation to our Father. This is our prayer we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jesus took the bread and wine and gave to his disciples. This is my body and my blood. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I 
I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Save me. Well, one day I thought Jesus died on the cross. And I know it was a blood. Save me. I know it was. everyone desires to be served, been served. Amen. As they are still opening their package, the prepackaged uh, sacrament, the Bible says, tarry ye one for another. And this adds a new meaning to tarry one for another. Right. Bless you. And I have to say, just before we partake, Nicholas has been told by his physician that he needs to be on a gluten-free diet. And he reached for the sacrament. And his mama and grandma said no. But I believe God. Amen. Amen. 
say, as often as you do this, you do so for his death and suffering to you to come again. And if we are praying and blessed, ask the Lord to bless this. This little wife that has been blessed because of his death and his suffering, I believe it's all right with him. So in the power of God, the one that sent his son to die on the cross for my sin and your sin. Jesus, he blessed the bread and he broke it and gave to his disciples and said, this is my body. Eat ye all of it. Took the cup of the wine and blessed it and gave to his disciples and said, drink it. This cup of the wine represents his blood, the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for the remission of sin of many. As often as we do this, we do show forth his death and his suffering, then he shall come again. And when we think about all that God has done for us, how he suffered and how he died, when we fight with God on our side, we win. We win because he gave his life to save us from our sin. Amen. After they had died, they sang a hymn and they went out into the Mount of Olives. We do not have the Mount of Olives to go out into, but we do have our homes, our schools, our jobs, our meeting place. You go tell dying men and women that Jesus suffered and died for our sin. And when we fight with God on our side, Amen. we win. Let us rise to our feet and grab the neighbor's hand. I am reading broad Jesus can change my whole life. If anybody asks you, just who I am, tell him that I Children, trust and believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen